All right, guys, so today I got something not so uh, glamorous for you guys, but for those of you who are ready to think bigger than just entertainment, um, this video is gonna be for you guys. But for those of you who are interested in actually succeeding on Amazon, you gotta differentiate yourself from the other Joe Schmo. So this is for those of you guys who are more serious. Um, it's gonna show you guys how to totally and absolutely optimize your listing to perform the absolute best. This is basically a resource I found online. I'll share the link in the description. And it what they did was they took the list of the top 10,000 ASINs, the top 10,000 best-selling ASINs, and then they took the top 1,000 of those and they just gathered a ton of data on them. So if you guys are looking for either the resource or the top, the, the list of top 10,000 best-selling ASINs for your product research ways, I have a link to both of those in the description below. If you guys want to see a product research strategy using the list of the top 10,000 best-selling ASINs, um, I can make one for you guys tomorrow. But I do need to know if you guys want to see that. So leave a like down below, leave a comment letting me know that you guys want to see it and I'll make it for you guys. That's pretty much the only way I know that you guys are interested in that. Let's get back to the video. So basically what we we're doing was we we're using a path paved by the top 1000 uh, best selling ASINs. They obviously know the science of Amazon. They obviously are doing something right to be selling so well. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually follow them down this paved road that they have paved for us. Uh, and we're going to put our twist on it to make our products better and sell more. But for those of you guys who are not interested in this kind of stuff, you guys can keep doing the same st stuff that you've been doing the whole time um, and not differentiate yourself because what you need to do is you have to differentiate yourself and your mind from the rest of the people who are doing Amazon if you actually want to succeed or actually in business in general and anything. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go through some slides. I'm going to show you guys and explain to you guys what you need to do to absolutely optimize the shit out of your listing and get it selling and converting on a level that the top 1000 ASINs are converting at. So let's talk about title length. You want to have between 40 and 80 characters length in your title. You do not want to put anything above that because as you can see, the top 1000 sellers are in this range. So 40 to 80 characters, nothing longer. Obviously you want to have the biggest and most important points at first. I mean, keywords at first and the least relevant ones later. Don't go more than 80 characters on your title length. That's basically the main info for the title. Now, another thing that we obviously know, but I will reiterate this pictures are very important. Do not go out there. Don't be one of those lazy guys that is going to go out there and just find pictures online, do some little Photoshop editing and call it a day and be like, these are my pictures. You need to go out there. You need to get professional quality pictures. You don't need to spend 500 bucks, but you can at least take a camera and go take the pictures yourself. Get a model, get, you know, lifestyle pictures, get white background pictures and make your pictures nice, unique, because that is your selling point guys you need to have this stuff trying to like you know weasel your way out of doing some work is going to hurt you a lot in the long run what this graph shows is that six and seven images are the most common in the top 1000 seller listing but you can do you know the max of eight pictures because there is no reason why that would hurt you put out the pictures get as many pictures as you can and get high quality hd pictures so that they zoom in when you hover your you know mouse over don't skimp on this product features also incredibly important what it shows us here is that you want to have five product features. If you're not filling up all your product feature slots, you are making a huge mistake. Now, another thing, right? Filling up your five is one thing. Don't be lazy, put some good copyright into it. Put some work into some of the stuff you're doing, guys. Some people are sending me some stuff that just blows my mind. Um, this is the new generation of Amazon. You need to put some effort in it, okay? You're not going to just post up random garbage online and it's going to sell. Put your work into it. So. Five product, five features, okay? And then on top of that, you want to have the biggest and most important points at first, the, the things that are gonna convert people and make them buy your product. So for example, what this, you know, this resource said is that you want to put stuff like risk-free warranty stuff that you have, you know, return, blah, blah, put that on at the top, put your most interesting and most, you know, your best copyright stuff at the beginning, the stuff that's actually going to sell your product to your customers. No one cares about the colors. No one cares about anything because they can see this in the actual picture. If you just talk about colors and stuff like that, that's not people, something people care about. So definitely make your product features interesting. Here's another graph showing how, you know, most people who are doing well, the top 1000 uh, sellers are using uh, all five of their bullet points. Now we're going to talk about description length. Okay. This is super important. You do not want to have a ton of this, you know, your description length to be an essay. No one's here to read your essay. No one's here to, to, <laughs> to care about what you got going on in the description. Get to the point, get your topics, you know, upfront, 
and, and, and just be concise with your descriptions, okay? No one's here to read your essay. I've had so many people send me descriptions and stuff to look over and it's like, Nobody, like think if you're a customer, nobody's gonna read that. So what you wanna do is you wanna have your description between 400 and 600 characters. Nothing really below 400 because that's a little too short, but definitely nothing above 800. So get your you know description in the sweet spot because after that, you know Amazon really doesn't even read whatever you're writing after that. They don't care enough to read. Same with the bullet points. Your bullet points should be around 120 characters, uh, pretty, pretty much lower than 140 characters for your bullet points because Amazon is gonna is it's not about to read every single thing you're gonna write and and rank you for every single thing. They're only ranking you for the beginning things because they assume that you're gonna put the most important stuff at the beginning. So do it. Now this is something that actually blew my mind. Um, I didn't know this is how um, you know how this worked. Uh, I had an idea, but not to this extent. So basically, this is showing us the percentage of ASINs versus the number of reviews and how much money they're making. So this is showing us that there's a lot of diminishing returns. At first, the most important, you know, are your first 10, 20 reviews are the most important. And then as you can see, um, when you get about, you know, 100 reviews, 80, 100 reviews, it really flatlines up to like a thousand reviews. So really, if you if you can get your product to 100 reviews, you can compete with someone who has a thousand reviews. So the first most important stuff is your first 100 reviews. Obviously, you know, that's still a lot of reviews to get, but you need to you need to get them. All right, this just showing us that we can compete with people that we didn't even know we could up to a thousand reviews. It really is, you know, it's a diminishing return. And there's another super important thing I found in this resource talking about the review qualities. You can have as many reviews as you want, but obviously if you don't have good reviews and good quality reviews, your product will not sell. I had somebody send me their listing the other day and it, you know, he was explaining to me how his reviews had fallen over f below four stars and it's about three and a half stars. He doesn't have many reviews. He doesn't know what to do because his product was selling well and now it's not selling at all. Basically, I told him, <laughs> you're kind of screwed. You need to get your reviews higher. Now, if you're selling a shit product, you're really not gonna be able to do that. So what this is showing us is that you need to have a good product. Do not sell anything if you know that it's gonna be a three and a half star or lower because no one is gonna buy. Four star is pretty much the only, you know, about the limit where you can be at. If you if you know that you won't be able to improve a product from three and a half stars, do not do it. Stay, stay the hell away from it because four stars or higher is where you need to be. You might make money at first, when your product is with you know 10 reviews and they're all five star because they're from your friends and family and you might make good sales then, but as soon as the real reviews come in, you're gonna really regret it because it's, that's a very short term strategy. If you're not gonna improve on the product, if you're not gonna change something, don't sell a shitty product. If you guys wanna see the list of the top 10,000 ASINs, best selling ASINs, link in the description, like the video, comment down below if you guys want me to make the product research video uh, and remember to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time, peace.